Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 49, Return of the Kid. Boko and Salty were waiting at the docks with Cranky and Colin when Duncan pulled up. Today's the day, isn't it? What do you mean? That Billy comes back. Oh yeah, you're friends with Billy. Yeah, today's the day Billy comes back. Yes, I've been waiting forever for Billy to come. Bulstrode should be here any minute, said Boko. Oh, look, there he comes. And Bulstrode had come. He had Billy on top of him. He pulled into the docks. Cranky, get this engine off me. Cranky did exactly that, and he dropped him off. There you go, Bulstrode. Duncan. Billy, come with me. I have a lot of stories to tell you. All right, said Billy, and the two engines puffed away. I have a bad feeling about those two. Same with me. I've watched Bill and Ben. I can watch these two. It'll be my day job today. I'll see you in a little bit, Salty. See you guys. Bye, said Salty. Bye, said Cranky and Colin together. Wish me luck. And he puffed away, too. This is the perfect spot, said Boko. I can hear him perfectly. He soon heard him start to talk. So, said Billy, what have I missed? You've missed a lot. Arthur came back so we can get revenge on him. Ooh, that sounds like a good one. He actually is supposed to be visiting with Victor today at the works. Here, I'll show you where it is. Come with me. And the two engines puffed away. The works? I'll have to warn him. And Boko soon puffed away as well. Boko was lucky, and he was the first one to arrive. Oh good, said Boko. They haven't arrived yet. What do you mean, they? Billy, he's come back, and Duncan and Billy are planning to play a trick on you, Arthur. A trick? On me? Oh, no, not again. Should I hide? You want to be careful. I'd, I want to warn you. Watch out for Billy and Duncan. Who knows what they'll do. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, so make sure you're safe. I'll make sure you're safe, said Victor. Boko, we'll tell you how everything goes. All right, said Boko. I'm going to puff away, and Boko left. All right, said Duncan. So the plan is to take these troublesome trucks and jam them into the track so they can't get out of the works. This sounds like the perfect plan. I'm so glad we're friends. I know. Let's do this. And the two started to puff towards the works. There they are. Watch out, Arthur. All right, I'm going to take a sharp turn. And he did. Oh, no, the trucks. Ha <laughs> ha! Cinders and ashes! Oh no, now you can't escape! Aw, oh, shucks! Ha ha ha! Let's go, said Billy. And he went to go puff. He saw Boko. Billy, watch out! What for? He went up and. Oh, oh! Hi, Mr. Boko! And he puffed away. Oh, you engines never learn. Come here. And Boko followed. I'm sorry, Mr. Boko. I'll I'll never do it again. Oh, I'm not mad. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm sorry, Mr. Boko, but Billy derailed. Oh no, cinders and ashes. Duncan soon came down. Boko, what did you do? I did nothing, I just Ah Oh no. Cinders and ashes for me too. Oh, this isn't good. I'll be back. And Duncan puffed away. Harvey was talking to Salty when Duncan pulled in. Harvey, I need you. There was a... There is an accident. Yeah, I know the drill. Do you need me too? Well, we've got a few trucks derailed. Same with Billy and Boko's off the tracks. I guess we all should go. Butch, Rocky, ready? I'm ready, Harvey, said Rocky. Me too, said Butch. All right, it's by Wellsworth. I'll meet you all there. And Duncan popped away, followed by Rocky and Harvey, and of course, Butch. Butch worked with the troublesome trucks. He coupled one of the troublesome trucks, and he moved Fred onto the tracks. All right, you're coming with me, and Butch pulled the other truck away. Harvey easily got Billy back onto the tracks. And then Butch had to lift Boko up off of the tracks. All right, said Butch, I've done my work. Rocky, it's your turn. And it was Rocky's turn. Rocky lifted up first the troublesome truck. 
And then finally he lifted up Boko. There you go, Duncan. Oh, thank you guys. I couldn't thank you enough. I'll get a workman. He can check on the damages. And Harvey puffed away. Harvey soon arrived with the workman. Well, said the workman, I've examined the trucks, Boko, and Billy. The damage isn't too severe. Nothing that the trucks, Billy, or Boko won't be missing work or anything. That sounds good. Very good. Ah, at least Sir Topham Hat won't be hearing about this. Oh, Sir Topham Hat will find about it, but it shouldn't be too severe of a punishment. Harvey? Rocky? Let's go back. All right, said Harvey, and they puffed away. Boko talked to Billy and Duncan afterwards. So, said Boko, why do you two do this? They call me the kid, and I've got a title to defend. The kid. Billy the kid, huh? Yeah, he likes that name. Well, Billy the kid, you gotta be careful. You can't always have fun in games. But I love having fun in games, as does everyone. But you gotta be careful. Today, the damages could have been a lot worse. Luckily, the troublesome trucks, myself and you, none of us were really hurt. I'm sorry about that. Me too, said Billy. Of course, you guys can have fun and games, but life isn't always about fun and games. You've caused trouble to Arthur countless times, and, well, Billy, you just came back, and we don't want you to leave again. I know. You two can always be friends, of course, but sometimes you gotta be careful. You can't always have fun. All right, said Duncan. We're sorry, Boko, and they puffed away. Ah, said Boko. That was a good project. Salty and Harvey were at the docks talking when Boko puffed up. So, said Salty, how did the plan go? It went all right. Yeah, they caused an accident today, but I do think the two learned to behave. That's good. I feel they learned to behave, too, said Harvey. Well, you did a great job, Boko. First Bill and Ben, and now these two. Thanks, said Boko. Hopefully Billy and Duncan will learn to improve. Ah, tough day, though. Let's go to sleep. Good plan. And the engine soon fell to sleep. After Boko left, Duncan and Billy talked. Ah, what a good day. Yeah, but let's never listen to Boko. Yes, let's. Boko doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. All the time. Let's do this again tomorrow. Yeah, we got a tough day. Let's go to our sheds. Night, said Billy. Night, said Duncan, and the two puffed away after a satisfying day.